Hey, hello, hello, this is Max and welcome back to a Let's Play series of Final Fantasy XIV. Now, on level 59, actually nearly uh, our target to reach level 60, um, and we're still in Heavensworth, and we already completed all the level 54 MSQs missions, and now we're moving into level 55s, and the first one, 55, is this one over here, it's called Ready to Fly. Um, so we're currently in Corfas. Yeah. And we're gonna continue actually leveling up until 60 when we can actually reach uh, our next character um, armor upgrade and weapons and all the stuff. So I'm looking forward to reach 60 pretty soon. We're still playing level 55, which is a good thing as well. And yeah, let's keep doing what we're doing and leveling up. So I hope you enjoyed. If you do, so you know what to do. Just let me know in the comments below what you want to see and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So, here we go. This is ready to fly. So, let's go to the manor. So, we need a crystal. And we have one around here. Yep, that is. And awesome story so far. So where I'm amazed actually with the amount of uh, story content that this uh, game has. It's an awesome actually. It's it's echoing all the players that have played this one for the last I don't know ten years. Um, very very good game. Made in Japan with Japanese mindset and nothing on darkness or politics or everything so everything's good we're still seeing um, hot characters and very well uh, crafted stories which I think is the base of um, storytelling that's how stories need to be told Regardless if you like them or not, okay, so... No bullshit, no... Where are we going? There. Just truthful stories. Simple as that, actually. Make a good story, everybody will follow. Make something that is forced and artificial. And everybody will leave you. There is no appetite for anything wokeness or stuff like that. So I hate when kind of actually companies in the US turn for that particular way of um, dealing with whatever they want to do, which no player wants to see at all not an issue until you when you start talking about it it becomes an issue as you are forcing the conversation the conversation should not be forced that's the, the first line and the community doesn't care about it we don't even talk about it it doesn't matter it's not an issue but it becomes an issue when you force it, so that's what I don't like. Anyhow, let's continue doing what we're doing. So. Alright, let's enjoy the story, and I think we're moving into a dungeon now. All stands ready, Lord Commander. And these are becoming uh, big ones. The moment has come then. Big dungeons. Pray excuse my lateness. I paid a brief visit to the workshop to inquire about the mana cutters. The engineers assure me that they're ready. To the airy. Oh, the airy is now but a short flight away. Yet what a long and winding path we took to reach this point. Were it not for Master Alphino's proposal, we never would have attempted to parley with the dragons. Though our negotiations yielded little, 
Our expedition with Lady Isa taught us much. You took an unimaginable risk. I could scarce believe the tale Estinian told. Aye. Tis true that many of our countrymen would sooner die than join hands with the heretic's mistress. But twas through that most unlikely of alliances that we came to speak with Reisvelger. A conversation that went rather poorly, as I recall. In this instance, the journey was more important than the destination. Had we not slain Nidhogg's consort, Tiamun, and put the Great Worm on his guard, the Dravanians would have arrived at Ishgard's walls long ago. Aye, that they would. Full grateful am I for every hour of respite your actions have afforded us. Thanks to you, our defenses are much improved. Tis but a pity they won't be enough. Thus, you believe an assault upon the Airy represents the city's best chance of survival. Is that not so, Astinian? I am under no illusions. Nidhogg's might is legendary. But with his eye in my possession, I can stifle his strength at the source. Victory will be hard won, even so. And I shall be glad indeed to have the Warrior of Light at my side. You shall have my blade as well. There are more of these mana cutters to be had, yes? Lord Commander, no! How can I, a proud knight of Ishgard, stand by and do naught while an outsider risks life and limb for our homeland? I swore an oath to protect this city. Pray leave the slaying of dragons to dragoons, Sir Knight. Your duty to command the city's defense is no less vital. Should we fail and Nidhogg slip through our grasp, who then will hold the walls against him? Will you leave Ishgard in the hands of the Holy See zealots? There are others. Who but you has the authority and the standing to orchestrate a city-wide defense? I do not, and neither does the Warrior of Light. That is why it is our place to fight, and yours to remain here, Lord Commander. What? You too, Master Alfino. By the Fury! You have shown some promise, but this adversary is far beyond your skills. Your candor is appreciated, Sir Dragoon. I shall remain then and cheer you from afar. Well, my friend, it would seem I have discouraged the last of the volunteers and claimed the task as ours alone. But if any alive can best this worm, tis surely we too. I think we're moving in.
right if it is upstairs. To the area level 55 all right we're gonna go back when we have a team so stay put and two seconds for you okay guys we're in here we go this is a full team dungeon so two dps's so we need to be worried about the mechanics, boss mechanics. As long as we have a good team, we should be alright, I guess. But let, let us be conscious of... There are two DBSs only, so... I don't know if it's going to be a speed run, but... shit and we have on the floor. Alright, let's let's jump back and Alright, apparently speed one. These guys know what they're doing, so uh -oh, apparently not.
just clean the exterior. We haven't even went into the first boss yet. Oh, rang down. Yeah, this looks like a boss. Let's see what we got. Apparently, second boss. Looks like it.
don't think we worry about those things. your lot. Wait, you're going too fast. Final boss yet. So far so good, keep doing the story, and let's see what are the mechanics of this one.
nothing on mechanics yet. Fifty percent. Oh Jesus! I'm gonna keep pushing to this guy. There is more loot. Um, Alright, uh, no. Fire guns, 50 something, and this one, yes. This one, I don't know. And this one, I don't know. Alright, let's see what we got.
You gifted my people a thousand years of suffering! Now I gift you an eternity in darkness. They are ours, Lord Eldrath. The eyes of Nidhogg. Aye. The worm lies broken and my father is avenged. With the wellspring of his vitality thus denied him, Nidhogg shall not linger long in this world. But behold the terrible price we have paid. My sire is dead. So many brother knights slain. We traded our honor for the strength which now courses in our veins. And still we are forced to make such sacrifice. But not in vain, my lord. Kreis Felger is the only great worm left in Dravania, and he dares not leave his lair. With Nidhogg's eyes in your possession, who now can challenge the might of Ishgard? Ascend the throne and take your rightful place as the ruler of our people. Nay, my friend. I must forsake the mantle of king. Though Nidhogg be defeated, his wormling horde yet darkens the skies with wings beyond counting. As one who partook of Ratatoska's strength, it shall be my penance to bear a knight's arms until death grants me leave to retire. When that day comes, no prince shall perish, but a hell's bound hunter of dragons. But Lord Haldreth, what then shall become of the royal line? Think of your people, my lord. Without a king, who will the common man turn to in his hour of need? How will he find his way without your benevolent hand to guide him? I thank you, Sir Flavian and Sir Silvertril, for dispelling my remaining doubts. With men of such wisdom and compassion in service to the realm, it is plain that Ishgard has no need of a king. But if you must bow to the demands of tradition, you need look no further than yourselves for one worthy to wear the crown. Fare thee well, my brother knights, my loyal friends. On these shoulders shall I bear the weight of my father's sins. With this lance shall I repay the debt accrued through our misdeeds. Cruel jest has fate played upon us. Have we seized this desperate victory only to lose a king? We can but act as our lord has bid. We few who remain must divide between us the rulership of Ishgard and her people.
Not I. My oath was to Lord Haldrath and he alone. If he is not to be king, then I would hang up my shield as well. Will you abandon us too, sir? I would wash my hands of blood and betrayal and take up an honest trade. Mayhap I shall serve ale instead of sharp and steel. and Zemile. But four houses to rule all of Ishgard. And what of the throne? We keep it empty. Until the day a king rises once more, we must assume the role of stewards. We shall shape our nation anew with a history of our own making and let the truth of this dark day die here, upon the battlefield. Was that a flashback? What ails you, friend? Are you wounded? of the first battle with Nidhogg. The legend of Ishgard's founding tells that our ancestors were led to the land of Kurthus by the valiant King Thordon. In the midst of their journey, they came to a wide chasm where they were set upon by a great worm, Nidhogg. A furious battle then ensued with Thordon leading the van. Though the brave king was slain defending his people, his son, Haldrath, the first Azure Dragoon fought on undaunted. And with a mighty thrust of his lance, he gouged out Nidhogg's eye, forcing the wicked creature into retreat. Thus did this Eldritch Orb become a sacred treasure of Ishgard, lending its power to every knight deemed worthy to bear the title of Azure Dragoon. A rousing tale, is it not? Would that I could still believe it. But your vision, which we must accept as immutable truth, leaves no room for doubt, save on one point. If Haldrath took both of Nidhogg's eyes, then how came this eye to be lodged in the worm's skull? Beneath every answer we unearth, another question lies buried. Huh? It was a fierce battle. But one I knew we would win. Your fame is well deserved, warrior of light. Full proud am I to have fought at your side. I would fain return with all swiftness to Ishgard to inform the Lord Commander of our triumph. But we must first have words with Hreisvelga. There are parts of this tale that the worm has kept from us. And I would know wherefore. All right, finishing this one. I think there is one more. Call the song begins. 
which is the last 55 actually the last mission that we have 55 but firstly I want to triple check uh, we have a that trick corn do we have anything yep and earrings of Amy all right cool all right let's do this so where are we oh there I saw a blue thing there, but I don't know if we're going to get it. Um, probably we should, but I don't know what it is. Maybe... Uh, yeah, probably we should. to find a way of getting up. Is it as simple as this? I think it is. Better do that. Still not giving us headaches.
All right, what do we got here? So the sun begins is the last 55 that we said. Now we're moving to 56, probably a different area. It's my take. I prized your eye from his head.
S E C N A. It was yours. Your strength that sustained Nidhogg all these years. Would that Haldreth had dealt the worm a killing blow. And so you acquiesced. You surrendered your eye to Nidhogg, knowing full well the suffering he would inflict. This one so unshin in kin in Ela. Return in A. Eskulos Nizhegna. Liz Esk and Garhan. I'm fine. Call on on. Tomos in Eskulos. Nearly 60 now. All right. Unrest in Ishgard. So we are continuing now with level 56. We're kind of 150,000 from level 16. It was my life's goal to slay Nidhogg. But I find there is little joy to be had in its accomplishment. But... You have rid the world of a hate-filled creature, and ended a bloody war in so doing. I lost my family to Nidhogg's flames, and it was with fury in my heart that I took up the lance. Every blow I struck, I struck in the name of vengeance. We were not so different, he and I. I will not judge you for your deeds. I have not the right. Too many innocents have perished in the name of my greater good. Yet even with all that has passed, the tale is incomplete. We are short a great worm's eye. Of the pair which Haldreth took from Nidhogg, only one is known to us, the one I bear. What then became of the other? Why did Nidhogg who had taken such pains to prolong the Dragonsong War, suddenly decide to hurl his entire army against the walls of Ishgard. Lord Commander. Aye. The deed is done. Nidhogg is slain. What? In the city? A battle with whom? At once, Lord Commander. Hold firm till our return. Fighting has broken out in the city. Lord Emmerich was sparse with the particulars, but it seems some commoners threw open the gates to a force of heretic. I gave no order to attack. Are we to mark the end of the Dragon Song War by spilling the blood of our own? Mayhap Raisvogel was right about us. Let us away, warrior of light. The people must be saved from themselves. Wait! I would join you. Yes. There has been enough violence. I will appeal to my people in the city and make them see reason. Come. Come then, Lady Iceheart. Let us write the final chapter in this damnable war.
A small army of heretics has invaded the city, Your Eminence, but there is no cause for concern. A sizable contingent of our soldiers is already in place to repel the Dravanian assault, and the intruders will soon find themselves outnumbered and outmatched. Our plans proceed apace, then? Yes, Your Eminence. This unrest shall serve to feed the people's fear of the heretics and the dragons both. And lend renewed fervor to their prayers for deliverance. Very good. Grant our guests what time they need to sow a measure of chaos, then order the Temple Knights to crush them. Your will be done. The moment is at hand. Excellent. All shall soon be in alignment. It is time for the bringer of light to die. Ouch. Shed. My lady! She is come! No. 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 Hear me, brothers and sisters! The war is ended! Nidhogg is no more! It is so! This adventurer and the Azure Dragoon laid the Great Worm low! <coughs> the endless cycle of violence between man and dragon was born of our forefathers' treachery. You have followed me, bled with me, to bring this truth to light that we might all know peace. But Nidhogg is dead. Nidhogg is dead, my friends. He who bore such hatred towards Ishgard is dead. Let his hatred die with him, I say. Let us sheathe our swords and go in peace. Have we lost? No, my friend, far from it. At long last, the peace for which we have so desperately fought is within our grasp. And I, for one, would not forsake it. Peace? Seize the witch! Let none escape! Don't even try. Providing aid and succor to the wounded should be our first concern. If the heretics mean to observe the peace, then it would be folly not to do the same.
All right, what do we got? Double doublet of aiming, healing, and casting at 56. We have a 60, so I'm gonna pass. All right, guys, so we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna continue in the next one. I hope you like it. If you do so, you know what to do. Just let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we are kind of nearly there with 60, so bear with me and we're going to move on. There you go. And thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.